Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Marie. Today we're here to talk about one of my favorite topics and that is green beauty moisturizers. If you've been watching my channel, you already know my song and dance about moisturizers. So let's jump right in. Now, what are the nuts and bolts of a moisturizer? Well, you need water and you need oil and you need something that mixes them together called an emulsifier. And now because you've used water in a product, you need a preservative. If you follow the trend of green beauty, they really shied away from moisturizers because they contained water, so essentially they needed a preservative. And they had oil and water mix, so they needed an emulsifier, which tends to be a synthetic ingredient. So now that we are moving towards a more moderate approach to green beauty, um, you can really see that creams are making a comeback. And so now that I have five to talk about, I thought it would be a great time to talk about some of these moisturizers. Um, it's kind of been sparked by getting to try one I thought was really beautiful, finishing up one that I thought was really wonderful, and then also the new Art of Organics box contains one of the creams that I'm talking about today. So all of these creams are great at moisturizing your skin. That's really not what's on the table here. The t what's on the table is what's right for you. Because some products, even though they're beautifully formulated, aren't going to be right for your skin. So I thought we would break down the products by their formulas, by their smell, by their touch, by their texture, by their price point. I know that can really... <laughs> that's part of the conversation, right? The price point. So. Um, so what I thought we'd do is we'd kind of break down the formulas into hydrating ingredients, oils, butters, actives, and nuts and bolts. So that would be things like the preservatives and emulsifiers. I'm not going to talk about every single ingredient in all the products because we'd be here all day, but I will list the full ingredients list below as well as this kind of like um, organization that I've put it into. First up, let's talk about this Natural Logic Omni Moisture Cream. This is kind of a new brand to me. Um, their whole product line looks interesting and exciting. I love the ingredients, the look of the formulas. She has one particular mask out there that looks beautiful called the Luna Mask that's made with this red wine ferment. Like it just looks amazing. Um, I think it's getting ready to come out soon actually. I'm Got to get myself on the list for that. So anyway, I was really excited to see that she had this beautiful, lush, gorgeous cream. And also Danielle from Cruelty Free Vegan Beauty and Trish from Scent Hive both love this product. So you know my girls love it. I got to give this thing a try. All right, now were you to purchase this product in full size, it would be $42 for one ounce. This product was purchased by me. Okay, so the ingredients list. Let's talk about some of the hydrating ingredients. There's aloe vera juice and hyaluronic acid. Let's talk about just some, like I said, just some of the actives she has in here. She's packed this with good things. She has pure extracts of green tea, rosehip, white willow bark, chamomile, sea buckthorn CO2, cranberry CO2. She has some oils in here like barrage, meadow foam, camellia, some of my favorite oils, pomegranate, rosehip. She's got some butters, unrefined shea butter, Kappa Kuao butter, and then the nuts and bolter that she has a preservative, Lucidal Liquid, a great preservative for a cream. Now, the smell has a decidedly noticeable scent of black cumin seed oil. My nose happens to be very sensitive to that smell, and so it might not be as um, overpowering to other people as it is to me. Because for some reason, I don't know why that oil is just not, or that extract is just not my favorite smell. Uh, and so the texture. As you saw from the swatch, it is juicy. Man, is it juicy. So I don't know, I can't discern from her ingredients list what she's using as an emulsifier if it's not the butters. So that might be part of her trade secret is how she's getting this all to stay in formula. Um, but the butters make it so juicy. Now the application. For this particular product, I really say that I really think that you can control the amount of juicy hydration that it gives you. So, you know, if you have more oily prone skin and you don't need as much, you can really do a light layer. Or if you're like me and you love to slather it on and wake up just like a plump dewy goddess, then you can do that too with this cream. 
kind of like foundation, like you can build it up. The last thing I want to mention with each of the creams is how they dry down because each of the formulas actually, believe it or not, dry down differently depending on the ingredients. So with this product, I say that it dries down juicy and dewy. So you're not having a complete absorption. Um, you're still waking up feeling like, you know, you've got that beautiful, lush, dewy skin. Now, that's not everybody's preference. It's definitely mine. I love waking up with that you know, feeling the beautiful um, oils and butters, still hydrating my skin, but it's not everyone's favorite. So um, great product. Okay, the next one is the One Love Organics Skin Dew Coconut Water Cream. This is being featured in the Art of Organics April box. If you wanna pick that up, you sign up for two months. It's $38 a month. I think it brings the total to 72 something. If you wanted to purchase it outside of a subscription box, the cost would be $58 and the size is 2.1 ounces. This One Love Organics Skin Dew Cream came in the Art of Organics and I work with Art of Organics so this product was sent to me complimentary. Now let's break down the ingredients. For hydrating ingredients we have coconut, fruit juice, glycerin. For actives, I don't see a ton of actives in here other than the fact that it's a beautiful moisturizer with nourishing ingredients um, that are aimed towards moisturizing the skin. Does that make sense? So we, we, we don't see retinol in here. We don't see vitamin C. Um, we have beautiful B vitamins from coconut water, but if you wanna call something an active, um, a potent active, I don't see a ton of that in this product, which is not a bad thing. If you're using a serum that has a ton of actives or a vitamin C serum, or you're putting a lot of other things on your face, well then a moisturizer is there to seal things in. Um, and that's what I think this product does beautifully. And I think it is a great deal for 2.1 ounces. So really quickly, like if you wanted to compare and contrast, this would be a product you'd really want to seal serums in with. This is a product you might want to just use on its own because it's got so many beautiful actives in here. All right, let's go back to this product. For oils, there is watermelon seed oil. Butter, she has that same butter, uh, Kupa Kuao, that the Omni Cream does. So some of the nuts and bolts. We've got some traditional standard emulsifiers, sunflower seed wax. We have a couple of sugar alcohols that act as hydrating ingredients. We have seaweed extract, another wax. We have some gums, um, and then some other things that function as humectants, and I've listed that all below. So the smell is barely there in my opinion. It has a very light, light coconut smell in a very refreshing way, not overpowering. The texture, I really call it cloud-like. If you saw my Instagram picture of this product, you saw that I, I put it in the clouds because that's really what it feels like on your skin. Um, application, I say that with this product, because of the waxes in here, that a thin application is best. Too heavy of an application, going too overboard, um, is really gonna cause your skin to feel like it's not breathing. So you really wanna go with a beautiful light thin layer, perhaps over an oil or a serum. And how does this product dry down? Uh, it dries down matte, which is what you will always see with creams that contain waxes. So this is perfect for putting on under makeup. It's perfect maybe for more oily skin types. It's perfect for people who don't prefer to look like a glazed donut all the time. Uh, so I really think this product is beautiful and I think it can really work for all skin types. Now, the next one I wanna talk about is the Osmia Organics Purely Simple Face Cream. I'm gonna to have to insert a picture right here because I actually don't have the container because I finished that bad boy and tossed it. The cost for that product is $60 for 1.5 ounces. This Osmia Organic, I purchased myself off of Beauty Heroes and got 15% off for being a Beauty Heroes member. You know, this cream really lives up to its name in that it is indeed purely simple. Um, it's not going overboard with actives. It's not going overboard with oils. In fact, they call it an oil light formula. It's really designed to aid people with perioral dermatitis or other skin conditions, sensitive skin, uh, and it really fulfills and lives up to its name. 
Uh, okay, so the hydrating ingredients are simple. Aloe juice and glycerin. Actives, not really, you're not really seeing any other actives in here. So again, another cream, perfect for layering with your favorite serum, perfect for layering with your favorite maybe retinol oil. Oils, there's only four. Sweet almond oil, jojoba, castor, apricot kernel. Very beautiful, skin-loving oils. Very nice blend, I think, in this product. I think it's significantly underrated in the green beauty market for how well it performs. Nuts and bolts, she has an emulsifier and a preservative. So, you know, like I said, very simple, but very well done. The smell is of a faint rose. The texture is lightweight, but rich. That castor oil really gives it a rich staying power. The application, it comes in a pump and it's a titrated pump. Sometimes I found that to be problematic because it was just like, you squeeze it out and it just, sometimes you didn't want that much. And so um, I guess it was good in some ways because it encouraged me to moisturize my neck. I don't always pay attention to my neck, don't judge me. The, the one thing I will say though about the container is that it does keep it airtight. It is difficult to see when you're running out of the product and because it's not a large container, um, you know, you don't know how much you have left. But essentially, I purchased it in the beginning of January and it lasted me to the middle of March. So um, that was about 10 weeks for one 1 1.5 ounces. How does it dry down? It dries down bouncy and dewy. Now, when the Omni Cream dries down, when it dries down um, lush and plump, um, you can really feel those butters contributing to that texture. When this one dries down, you really, you know, your skin is not feeling overly juicy. It's just feeling moisturized, if that makes sense. Um, it doesn't dry down matte, but it doesn't dry down as lush maybe as the Omni Cream. So again, all of this stuff, the reason I'm pointing out all of this stuff is it really comes down to your personal preference. You know, that's what makes it, uh, the cream's gonna work for you. Sometimes it's gonna be the price point, sometimes it's gonna be that texture and the way it dries down. So that's why I'm trying to highlight some of these specifics about these creams. Next up, the Trilogy Ultra Hydrating Face Cream. And I think it overall wins in the price category. You cannot beat the price of this product hands down. It is $40 for 2.5 ounces, making it by far the cheapest of all the ones I'm talking about today. The first tube of this was sent to me by Erin from A Greener Kind of Life, and the second bottle of it I purchased myself off of Pharmaca. One of the cool things I want to say, um, if you were to go on the Trilogy website and look up this product, below where you click on the ingredients, Every single ingredient has a hyperlink to a description about what it is. Can someone give them an award for being amazing? Uh, I thought that was outstanding. Uh, okay, so let's talk about some of the nuts and bolts. The hydrating ingredients are water, glycerin, honey. We have some actives like oat kernel extract, I guess if you could call that an active. There's really not another cream that really doesn't have any actives. So again, you look across the spectrum, you're not finding a lot of actives in moisturizers because it's really designed to seal everything in, which is why I think with products like this, like the Omni Cream, you could really cut down the amount of steps in your routine with a product like this. So the oils are sweet almond oil, castor oil, evening primrose oil, coconut oil, rosehip, tomato, acai, cranberry, and some of the nuts and bolts are that it does also contain a wax, several emulsifiers, and a preservative. Now the smell, it has a sweet almond smell, kind of like an almond cookie. It, uh, the texture is thick and dense, So the texture on this one, I would say by far is the thickest. 
It um, really feels like a traditional moisturizer, so I would definitely say a light hand, a light application on this product. Uh, and lastly, how does it dry down? It dries down kind of medium. It has a wax, but it also has a lot of oils, and it's just, you wake up with moisturized skin. And depending on what you've layered underneath it, uh, really depends on how your skin feels when you wake up. The last one I'm going to talk about is the Garden of Wisdom Age Defying Radiant Skin Cream. The cost for this one is $26 for one ounce. This Garden of Wisdom Age Defying Radiance Cream, they sent me a sample of it and then I went on to purchase for myself with my own money this one ounce product. This is another company that I really love shopping through their products because every ingredient is explained. So this, like the Omni Cream, is packed with actives. It's got a great formula um, and it's really a lovely price point, in my opinion, for all this goodness packed in here. So let's talk about some of the hydrating ingredients. Young coconut water, honey, lactic acid, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, milk protein. Let's talk about the actives. Are you ready for this? All trans retinol, ceramide 3, stone quartz elixir, hydroelastin. I know, when they say age defying, they packed it all into this cream. Oils, sunflower, avocado, neem, argon. You see a couple of um, things in here like sulfur containing ingredients and neem oil that are great for acne prone skin. Nuts and bolts, it has the Poliwax, marine collagen as an emulsifier I believe, and preservatives. The smell, it smells like nothing. This is similar to a lot of Garden of Wisdom products. It has no scent. The texture is thick but spreadable. The application, I would say, go very light because of the wax. Like I said, the wax and the creams make them have lovely textures, but if you overdo it, your skin's gonna start to feel like it can't breathe. Now, how does it dry down? It dries down matte. So the, see, see how when we look over kind of the whole spectrum of what we've been talking about today, and that the moisturizers that contain wax are gonna dry down a little more matte. So you know if you have an oily prone skin, like hey, that might be a really great cream for me because I do not need any excess oil or moisture. Okay, I hope this was helpful in some way. <laughs>